Hey guys. Oh boy, Cooper comes running because he hears me talking to somebody. All right, welcome back to Bits of an Artist Life into the studio vlog. I have paper right here because I was painting on stuff. And it's gonna make all kinds of noise. Let me move it. I've been doing some prep work. Oh, and I forgot to wash my brush. I have to go do that, guys, because, oh no. Okay, hold on. Well, bumser. So, I'm really hoping I didn't ruin that brush. Yeah, I was like, I can never do this when I'm gessoing something, leave my brush and forget to wash it, but it dawned on me I was filming for you guys. So I painted two of my pads black because that's what I'm like finding that I want to paint on most. But I wanted to try painting one of these with, I have some gesso here that is just white gesso that I bought. This is the brand that I like to use. I add some pink acrylic paint to it to tint it. I love how it looks. It's very Pepto-Bismol. No, I just almost spilt it all. There's not much left in the can. I need to buy another one and remix it. But I really like this as a ground. That bright pink is kind of fun peeping through. And then when it dries, it dries a little darker. I'm prepping this one because I had the thought of painting with the oil pastels the whole background. I'm usually just leaving the ground of the gesso. I really like the color of this gesso. It's a nice matted black that has some depth to it. So, yeah. That's what I'm working on, just prepping. So when I'm ready to get in the studio, I'm ready. And right now I only have three pads. I really like that brush too. So I'm gonna let that baby soak in my brush cleaner. And then hopefully by the time I'm done filming this little bit, uh, hopefully it'll be okay. Mm. I hate to ruin a good brush, but all right, let's get back to this studio vlog. Guys, what in the world, sir? Y'all have been blowing. Okay, and I also decided to like turn the lights off because I feel like maybe it creates a nicer ambiance. I don't know, the lighting. Maybe since I started it with the lights on, I don't know. Maybe I should turn back on. But anyways, we're here. This is what we're doing. Yeah, guys, y'all have been blowing me away. I mean, I don't know what's going on, but y'all are like sharing me and my channel all across your platforms. And I thank you. It feels like y'all are uniting to say, keep going, Sandy. I hear ya. My response is, I'm gonna keep going. Thank you guys. Man, y'all have just been, I don't know. It's been really encouraging. I'm not, the last few days I've not been feeling great. Things just allergies, something's bloomed here and I've just been feeling a little, and have not felt much giddy up and go, but y'all's comments and sharing and all that i'm like i want to get back in there work for you guys speaking of that let's talk for just a minute about the fact that when i'm somebody i don't know why i just picked this up but it was right here and i like to talk with my hands so i guess i'm going to talk with this right now yeah better not because i may put my eye out i am somebody who has a really hard time getting in the studio doing art stuff when i'm not feeling well it's really hard Unless I'm in the middle of something and there's not a lot of decisions to make, sometimes I can get in there. But I will tell you this. I don't know what it is with this season. I just have stopped painting in oils. I think because it's more oomph to get there. And with quarantine, if you guys are watching this like a couple years later or whatever, this is 2020 with the coronavirus. I think because it's my works have gotten bigger in oil. It feels a little more official. I don't know, more whatever. I just have not been showing up for my oils. You remember I had big plans for 2020. I was gonna paint, I was gonna pick one subject and paint that for the whole year. I've got a video that talks about that if you wanna see that. I mean, there's other things in the video too. I had picked birds. I decided I was gonna paint that. Now my sketchbook's another thing. I was allowing myself more freedom. I was just gonna paint birds. Well, that went out the roof pretty quick. Is that the saying, out the roof? Window, out the window? 
pretty quick when the coronavirus hit because I like a lot of y'all at first had a hard time like getting in the studio and then I just got in there and I was like I mean I hate what's going on with the coronavirus but as far as quarantine I am loving quarantine you know I don't hardly have any doctor's appointments I go to a lot of because of some health issues stuff that I have, several health issues. I'm in the doctor's office all the time. I do a lot of women's ministry stuff with my church, so I'm often meeting with women a lot. I just have not had much of that, and I'm able to just like nine to five be in the studio. But for some reason, oils, I keep trying. In fact, I'll just show you, I'll show you in a minute a couple of the ones that I've tried, and I just don't finish. I think part of it is that I do enjoy, I am in a season right now, for whatever reason that is, whether quarantine, whether, I don't know what it is. Sometimes it's just what you've got sharp, like what tools you've got sharp and the momentum. But I've been working smaller. I've been working, I've really been enjoying line work. So I'm doing a lot with my oil pastels and my new wax pastels, a lot with my color, but just mark making, not so much painting. And I mean, I haven't even been using my flash paints very much. So yeah, it's like painting has gotten on the back burner for this. And that's fine. There's, that's just part of being an artist. Like you get these little, you know, beep, beep, beeps, and you don't like get all despairing about it or whatever. So one of the things that happens a lot of time to artists also, you now the way it sounds to you or the way you say it may sound different. This is what happens to me. Sometimes I'm like, wow, uh, I think I forgot how to paint. I mean, like it just feels like it just went. Like I have no gifting. I have no skills. It's just gone. And then there's other times, and I don't despair. You just kind of go, okay, Sandy, you have been doing this long enough to know like, okay, how many other times have you felt like that and it goes away, just get up, you know, go pick up something and start making. And that's what I do. And then just as equally, there are other times that I haven't back when I wasn't in the studio daily like I am now. There used to be, you know, sometimes weeks, months, and I wouldn't be in the studio, and then I'd come in the studio, and I would paint something, and I'd be like, wow, I am amazing. Wow, I really, like, got a gift. I mean, amazing is probably too strong of a word, but it's kind of like, wow, that came out of me? Hmm, that just felt like that just... And then, you know, and then you paint another one, and it's like, oh, no, why did I think that I had any kind of gifting? Because, what? Where did those skills go? That's just kind of part of it. And you just roll with it. You just keep... I feel like that's one of the best things you just okay what this means is you just keep going not boxing did that look like boxing i feel like when i looked up into the little viewfinder it looked like i was boxing that just means like roll with it or keep going that's what i'm trying to say all right let me turn the lights on let me show you about some of these oil paintings where i've gotten stuck which is fine you know what i mean like i mean i've even been thinking about clearing out cleaning off my oil painting station over here just so I have another station because I have a pretty small studio and it would be nice to have another area but then I'm kind of like but I also know me when it's like time when I feel it when I get inspired and watching somebody else oil paint I'm gonna want to go in there with a brush and I have done some like I did um I think I have some footage I can't remember if I just did some footage for Instagram or for here too but like one day Grady went on a quick errand and had been watching somebody that was an oil painter and just that mixing of the paint and, psh, and on the canvas I was I was like oh I gotta go so I thought let's go little because I just had like 20 or 30 minutes and yeah, these were fun little sketches so there's one I'm trying to see if it's like getting um, in focus and then here's the other one you know just quick little things and they turned out and I painted these from other sketches that I did here's the other thing that I wanted to talk with you guys about I've had this kind of like idea in my head, but I can't think of a name for it. I think I've figured out how I want to like approach it. I'm the worst namer of things. Like my sister always makes fun of me, but back a long, long, long time ago when we used to do scrapbooking, you'd put like titles. She'd always be like, that's real creative. I would just name it like, we're getting a new house or something. So I'm not very good with titles. But what I've been thinking about doing is doing maybe at the end of our studio vlogs, a little, like little tours of sections of my house. Cause I have paintings everywhere. My paintings and other people's art. So maybe like one day at the end, we go tour my bathrooms and we look at the art and I tell you about art. If you just heard a big sigh, Cooper's another the table, make a lot of noise as usual. Or like I have, dashes of paintings in my closet, in this bit, just all over that I don't even remember are they good paintings. And we could just go through those together, like take sections of the house, of the studio, and go through some of that stuff. So I'm thinking something like, what would be a name? 
what would be a name? House, tour of the house, art tour of the house, something like that. I don't know. Two things. Let me know if you have a better name for it. And number two, do you like the idea? Would you like to see that? And let me just give you a quick little what it would kind of be like because I've got a little section over here of one of those oil pieces that I just I started and never finished. I'll show you and it's in with a whole bunch of stack of other paintings. So we'll go do that right now. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go turn the lights on and we'll do that. Okay. Y'all, it's going to be hard to even like navigate around because my studio right now is, I mean, explosion center. So this is one of those paintings that I was just talking about. I tried doing this one the other day or I started it and I may keep working on it. This pink is just the pink gessoed ground and I'm painting this in oil from a sketch. If you've been following me on Instagram, you've seen some of the sketches. Should I just show you guys real quick or do I talk about it in this? Let me just show y'all. Let me just show you. Here's something else I'm working on right now. This is a fun little, I'm not done. I'm like just started on this sketch. So this is the piece. I'll probably have better footage I'll insert here. I'm trying to take this into an oil painting. It's just not going well. I don't even like, I have zero oomph to want to get back to that. It's probably going to be something I either throw away because it's just on paper or paint over it. So there's that. <laughs> this is at the entrance of my studio. I have a stack that is just, you know, like happened here. Things just stack, stack, stack. Here is an old, old, oh boy. And here comes Cooper. Come over here and sit down. Come right there. I knew he'd want to be part of this. Sit down. All right. Uh, Coop. So this is an oil painting I did on paper. Wait, is it on paper? No, it's not even on paper. It's on board. Okay. It's on board. I think I painted this one from some other kind of sketch. So here's this painting. All right. Let's put that over here. And here's another still life. Oh boy. Cooper. <laughs> Did you get camera shy all of a sudden? Hey buddy, you really can't. Look, you just, just scoot them like that. Hey, no, no, no. Stay right there. Okay, here's another one. This is probably not the best lighting to be filming this stuff in, guys. I'm sorry about that. All right, another still life. This is oil on board. I have several in the series. Again, I think it's gonna be a little dark. I don't know if it's a little dark, but. Oh, can you see up here? I've got a whole bunch on paper in the same kind of format. Next is, here is a bird painting. I did this for you guys, and there's a video on this. So, you can, I'll put a link to that. Here is a painting of Mary Fedden's house. Wait, let me put it like this and get back for you guys. I love this painting. It was one, really fun to do. If you don't know who Mary Fedden is, you should look her up. She's got a great, she's not alive anymore. But one of the things that I loved is I got to kind of paint some of her paintings from her house. And I loved this. I think I did this several times actually. She always has this lamp that the lamp shades like crooked. Yeah, this was a fun one. This is one that like I probably wouldn't ever sell because I just, it's got memories for me. She was such an inspiration to me and still continues to be an inspiration. Here's another oil painting that I don't really love, but there it is. It needs something. I'm probably like zooming. I'm gonna have to get better at like being slow showing y'all because I kind of want to be like when I'm feeling like uncomfortable about a painting. So this got stuck under here. I, yeah, I don't know. Then here is another oil painting. This one's on paper. Yes, a block of paper, large block. If you're wondering what I mean by block of paper, I've got a video that shows you how to make your own watercolor blocks. So this is like watercolor paper, but I paint on it also with like oil. So this was gonna be a bird series that only got halfway through. Actually, I didn't even finish this guy, so I'm not even halfway. I'll probably never pick it up. I'll probably never finish this. This is what it will end up being. So there's that. Here is something, this is not for me. 
This is a piece that I found at an antique store for dirt cheap. It's obviously done by a kid and I kept going back and back and back to look at this. There was something about it. So it's collage and I loved it. I bought it for just like dirt cheap, like $7 or something. Now somebody, some parent got it officially like framed because they loved it too. Their kid did it. I bought this. I just could not let this. So I haven't hung it up yet. I just haven't found Coop's good. Oh, Coop, you got a sock. Let me go get that. Hold on, guys. I'm sitting on the floor, and I feel like I'm really rushing through this part of the video. It may not be the best footage. I'm feeling uncomfortable because I'm showing you, like, old, not great work, and I'm feeling the kind of jitters in that. So I will get better if you're like, man, if this, this part of the series is always going to be like that, then no, we don't want it. I'll get better. I'm probably going to look at this footage and be like... I'm gonna have to film that again, but maybe not. So, okay, let's get back to it. Maybe Cooper will leave us alone. Okay, here we go. So there's that piece. Don't y'all love it? I love it. I haven't found a place in the house for it yet because I just, I don't know, but I will. So there it is. And then here is another painting. Now I get that this is not like a masterpiece. This is of my house, but I don't want to paint over it because there's things about the floor I like. It has Cooper in it. It has my cat Johnny in it. I need Finn in it. That would be perfect. I should like try to paint him in this. I liked things like this little side window. That piece of art is a reference to a piece in my dining room that I love from a dear friend. I liked how these windows back here turned out. So this is like the den looking into the kitchen. And something about it's off, like it's not great. It's not something, I think something about this composition isn't it great. Cooper's killing me. He's in the other room having a sneeze attack while I'm trying to film. You gonna make it, Cooper? Okay, let's get back to it. I think this is the last one. Oh, and then here we have a big fluff dust ball. Whoops, I can tell I haven't vacuumed under there in a little while. Oops. All right, yeah, so there's that piece. Yeah, so there's that stash. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm also noticing there's a stash back here behind me. I think there's just a few pictures. I'm gonna go grab it too. I'm gonna go dig it out from back there and then we'll look at it also. Guys, there's a bunch. Mm. Okay, there's um, more paintings back there than what I thought, so we may have to do that. I don't know why I'm deciding to film this on the floor. I'm too old for this. There's a lot of paintings. I'll just show you these two. I'm hoping the lighting's good because I do actually like these when I'm not finished. Maybe never will get finished. I feel like this one's going to be a hard one to capture on film because there's a lot of like subtle subtlety in the sky. A lot of times at Christmas, I will get motivated to do like some kind of nativity painting. And I did this one. Again, it's just not, I know there's no way this is going to show up on film very well. But I did two paintings. Let me show you Mary here. I did it in a style that's quite different than what I normally would. So this one I titled, what did I title this? The Arrival. So this one is Mary arriving at the end that's not going to have any room. And then you've got the suggestion of the stable back there with the sheep and cows or cap, right? So here she is in the foreground coming to the in. That's not going to have any room. And then this is called the destination. Have not finished this one yet. This and it probably actually it probably is finished because I'll probably never like jump back to it. This one in the foreground now are the cattle and the sheep. Kind of you know made hints of the inside, and then there's 
Mary and Joseph in the stable way in the back. So it's the arrival and the destination. I never give my paintings titles, but for some reason these I did. All right, guys. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Let me see if I can set y'all here and that not fall over. Oh, please don't fall. Oh, you're set precariously on the edge. All right, so that is our first art. Let's see, what, what could we call it? House art tour. Yeah, and I let you in. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. I let you in in like one of the corners. You know what I mean? Not like the art that's up on my walls. I will show you some of the art that's up on my walls, but this was a little more like, uh, come look at my dirty underwear kind of thing. Well, you know what I mean? Like just letting y'all into places of my studio and my art that normally you don't get to see. That's my medical device. I have two medical devices. So if you're like, why does she have like a big muscle? <laughs> just medical advice and would you would you feel about the last video with the way I ended it was that weird with the little dog I felt a little kooky okay can I just also tell you so today Grady was looking at this watch that I have on he was like this is it's really really old and it broke a hundred years ago and Grady was like why are you wearing that broken watch well my other watch I have an Apple watch because of my medical devices that it has alarms and stuff on it, my Apple watch broke. So he was like, why are you wearing that broken watch? I feel like this was a very, very normal thing. I didn't get a very good response from Grady. I was like, well, I want to keep my wrist used to having something on them. And he was like, I mean, he, he, sometimes he acts like I'm a crazy person for the things that I say, but I think I'm a little tactile sensitive or something, but especially like here. And so, yeah, and it's cute. I kept it, obviously I kept it, because it's cute, because I like it. So yeah, I'm just keeping that wrist, you know, engaged, used to wearing the things, even though we're in quarantine. All right, guys, this is getting ridiculous. Thank you guys so much for your support, your love, and I'm gonna go make some art, so I'll have stuff to show you guys.